in the south of France. At the Thales Alenia facility, the large thermal vacuum chamber opens, revealing ESA's groundbreaking spacecraft, Euclid, designed to observe the dark side of the universe. Euclid is currently in its final phase of testing and has been in this thermal vacuum chamber for about a month to test the functionality of the fully integrated spacecraft under space conditions. And the point of this test is to take the whole spacecraft and cool it down to its operational temperature and then uh, run it for about a month and check that all the temperatures arrive at the right um, place where they should be. The, the first results of the, of the uh, thermal vacuum campaign are very good. Uh, everyone is uh, very happy and satisfied uh, how it went. Uh, basically all the subsystems uh, of the telescope uh, work uh, really well under uh, different uh, climatic conditions um, and uh, there are basically no showstoppers. Over the coming weeks, the spacecraft will be subjected to further mechanical, electrical and functional tests at the CAN facility. After this, the mission should be ready for launch in the summer of 2023 and will be placed into orbit around the second Lagrangian point, approximately 1.5 million kilometres from Earth. From here, Euclid will survey about one third of the sky and will capture data from billions of galaxies looking back more than 10 billion years in time. In order to do this, Euclid has a payload module comprising a 1.2 meter Korsh telescope with two large area focal plane instruments, the visible instrument VIS and a near infrared spectrometer and photometer called NISP. The instruments will capture the light of distant galaxies from visible to near infrared wavelengths. With these observations, scientists hope to learn more about the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which together could make up more than 95% of our universe. Um, so the visible instrument is specifically designed to image over a large area in the visible wave band. And it is making images where we can see the effects of dark matter spatially um, on galaxies across this wide, large area uh, survey. So we see that the images of the galaxies are distorted and the distortion is caused by the, the dark matter in the universe bending the light as it comes towards us. And it's a little bit like when you look through a swimming pool and you see the bottom of the swimming pool and the, the bottom of the swimming pool looks distorted. Um, but what you're seeing is the effect of the light um, being uh, bent by the, the water in the swimming pool or by the dark matter in the universe. Similarly, the near-infrared instrument will observe the effect of dark energy by measuring the speed at which galaxies are moving away from us and hence how the expansion of the universe is accelerating. This is done by observing the shift in wavelength of emitted light called the redshift of the galaxies. Cosmology is uh, exciting at the moment we have dark matter, dark energy, 95% of everything out there we can't really explain. The cosmological models don't quite work and Euclid is going to hopefully make a huge advancement in our understanding of all of these topics. Although dark energy is believed to accelerate the expansion of the universe and dark matter to hold cosmic structures together, scientists do not know what dark matter and dark energy actually are. Euclid will dramatically improve our understanding of the structure and evolution of the universe. Euclid is a groundbreaking mission, built and operated under ESA leadership, with Thales Alenia Space being the industrial prime contractor, whereas the telescope was built by Airbus Defence and Space, and the focal plane instruments provided by the nationally funded teams. A Euclid consortium of more than 1,500 scientists will analyse the data produced by the spacecraft. The mission was confirmed in 2012 and is part of ESA's Cosmic Vision programme. With Euclid, Europe takes another leap forward in better understanding the nature of the universe, enabling astronomers to refine cosmological models and better understand the role of the mysterious dark matter and dark energy.